the thought process behind Uncover? So Uncover Skincare um, was the brainchild of two women, Sneha and Catherine. They met at an incubator program and they came up with this great idea where, first of all, they both had um, experiences with their own skin right. care journeys. And so when they met, they sort of thought about what are the needs of women living in Kenya. Yes. And Korean skincare or K-beauty mm -hmm. has been popular for the last like decade or mm -hmm. so. And, you know, over the last four or five years in Kenya, we've sort of like seen a popularity in right. K-beauty, Korean products, yes. and just how effective um, they've been. Yeah, and you know, Koreans are known for their glass, <laughs> glass skin, <laughs> their youthful yes. um, features. So they reached out to me, um, this is April 2020, and we sort of talked about you know, Uncover Skincare. Mm. At the time, we didn't even have the name Uncover, but really it was just from a point of, you know, we love K-beauty, yeah. but how do we address the, the skincare needs of Kenyan women? Right. Because there's also the concern that K-beauty is great, but yeah. are these products really made for, for us? Kenyans, you know, yes. for us living in Kenya, in Africa, we have melanated mm. skin. Um, we have a different climate. Right. Um, we have concerns that are so specific to us. And so one of the first things that we did um, together is launch a survey mm -hmm. that about a thousand, just close to a thousand women participated in. Okay. And it was really just to ask, you know, what are your needs when it comes to skincare? Yeah. What are some of the things that you deal with the most? Yeah. And from there, we were able to sort of take this information and then create or think through creating products for women who are here, okay. but using the best labs and technology in K-beauty in Korea, yeah. because K-beauty is known as you know, the Paris of skincare. Yes. They're like 12 years ahead yes. when it comes to tech.